Hello guys, Softoni here. Welcome to another video lesson. In this video tutorial, we're going to create awesome abstract typography intro. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. So uh, let's see what we will create today. All right, here we are in After Effects and first, like always, we're going to create a new composition. Hit Ctrl plus N on your keyboard or here on this little icon to create a new composition. For this, we will do Full HD 1920 by 10, 1080 and for composition name, we will rename it Background and hit OK duration 10 seconds long of uh, 30 frames per second and next thing what we're gonna do is to create our background right click here and then go new and choose here solid also for solid we will rename it background hit enter on your keyboard and first effect that we're going to use here in the effects and preset if you can't find this effects and preset go uh, window and then hit here we will uh, type gradient tramp drag and drop here in our background and for this um, start of ramp uh, do like so, for this end of ramp uh, do here, I will do linear ramp and for the first color choose maybe some kind of uh, pink color like so and for the end color we will choose light green like so and then hit ok here in our timeline. Okay. Uh, next thing what we're going to do is to create a, a grid here in our final composition. Go and hit here uh, on this background, hit Ctrl plus D or go here edit and then duplicate. Ctrl plus D, OK. And for the next effect we will choose grid. OK. Uh, drag and drop here in our first uh, layer on our timeline, on our top layer. And for the size form go here and choose width slider. For the width we will do 45 and for the border we will do around 1, like so. Okay, and next thing what we're gonna do is to lower uh, down our opacity, maybe around 35% and it's also time to change our blending modes here from normal to overlay and if you can't find blending modes, uh, hit here expand or collapse to see those blending modes. All right, our next step is to create uh, circles here in uh, our uh, background composition. Uh, hit Q on our keyboard or go here, hold uh, left click on your mouse and choose ellipse tool. Now we'll draw uh, a circle here in our uh, final comp. Make sure to unselect this background comp like so and hold shift on your keyboard and draw a cir circle like this. Okay. Hit on this shape layer 01, uh, hit ALT and then left click on your mouse to disable this uh, stroke and also hit ALT and left click to enable this uh, fill color and also for this shape, uh, shape layer 01 we'll rename it circle 01 like so and choose here also gradient uh, gradient ramp and drag and drop here in our circle like so for the start of ramp go like so and end of ramp go like here and also for this start color choose maybe some kind of green like so and for this one you can also use eyedropper to choose uh, this uh, awesome pink or purple color like so you can play around with those handles according your needs and according your uh, wishes and it's time to duplicate this layer like so Control plus d on your keyboard hit v on your keyboard also and move it around here also hit on this gradient tramp and readjust our handles like so all right also Control plus d here for circle o2 and readjust it like so and repeat the procedure like this till you get the result that you want okay 
we can also readjust a bit more hit also s on your keyboard to scale it if you need maybe around 130 like so the second one here and third one maybe to around here hit s to scale it down also we will readjust it again or start a frame like so and the frame like so and this is look this this is looking really nice to me also hit uh, shift on your keyboard uh, for those three circles and find drop shadow double click here and for distance go around 10 softness around 100 for the first one also second one like so now we can also uh, add a little bit of movement here on the circle of one hit p and then hold alt on your keyboard and hit here on this stopwatch and we will type wiggle open and close bracket one comma 50. okay copy this control plus c and paste it here also circle o2 and also here circle o3 like so now when we hit zero we have a little movement here in our finals okay next thing what we're gonna do uh, is uh, to create our text composition i will close this uh, for now and uh, click here to create a new composition uh, for this composition uh, name we will do text 01 and width and height uh, 1500 height 200, 250 30 frames per second duration 10 seconds long and hit ok a uh, control plus t uh, or grab here horizontal type tool and then uh, hit here and i will uh, type our text creative i'm using this sign font you can find this font for free on fontsquirrel.com double click and then for this text size i will do maybe around 170 go to align and then align it to the center if you can't find this align tab go to window and then hit here and you will find uh, this align tab here on the right bottom corner okay first thing what we're gonna do is to add a movement here in our creative text open up here animate and then uh, find rotation and for rotation we will do minus uh, 90 and we will do also another animator go and find position maybe for um, rotation we will we will do minus 60 like so like here and for this second animator uh, go for y position and move it around uh, 250 like so okay also open up this uh, range selector and for this offset uh, hit uh, on zero on our for our first keyframe go to minus 100 and go to around zero second and go to around 100 for the second keyframe also open up this advanced tab for this shape choose ramp up and is high and is low go to around 50 percent now when we hit zero we have an animation like so uh, also what we, what we can do is to grab those two keyframes hit f9 on your keyboard open up this graph editor and draw a curve like this and if you can't find a curve like this right click on your mouse and hit here edit speed graph now when we hit zero we have an animation like so now it's time to also animate our rotation move it to around here and for this rotation uh, set this uh, set up this uh, key uh, first keyframe like so and go to around here and type here zero also grab those two keyframes hit f9 and also draw the same curve like before now we have this really cool animation also next our next step is to import our text 01 here in our finals uh, hit this text 01 and move it in our final composition move it in our background composition next step is to add a bit of shadow also type here drop shadow 
and move it to here and for distance go to around maybe we will leave it to 5 for softness maybe maybe around 20 like so now when we hit 0 we have an animation like so okay now it's time to add a small transition here uh, in our beginning and go right click to create a new solid layer and we will rename it grid wipe hit ok and for effects and preset go and type cc grid wipe drag and drop on top of our grid wipe solid layer and also uh, hit f3 here on background uh, uh, solid layer hit ctrl plus c and then go on grid wipe layer and ctrl plus v to also uh, duplicate our colors and we will choose the uh, this swap colors for now and go to around uh, zero and set a first uh, keyframe for this com uh, completion go to around two seconds and completion to around 70 now when we hit zero we have an animation like so for the borders we will do 50 and for tiles maybe around 25 like so now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation uh, hit w to show our keyframes uh, choose them hit f9 on your keyboard and draw a curve like so now we have this really cool and awesome animation okay our next step is to uh, create uh, more adjustments here in our scene uh, go and grab uh, those uh, first five uh, layers uh, right click and then go to pre-compose and we will rename it part 01 and uh, now it's time to duplicate this one Control plus d and for blending modes choose overlay also hit on your keyboard for t for opacity and move it down to around 50 percent like so now when we hit zero we're getting uh, something like this also it's time to add a spotlight go right click and then choose uh, to create a new adjustment layer we will call it spotlight and also find here in the effects and preset spotlight effect uh, drag and drop onto this uh, spotlight adjustment layer and for this uh, from we will do it maybe like so uh, to around here like so make adjustments according your needs play around for this scene for these handles and for this cone angle we will do maybe around uh, 15 edge softness to around 100 like so height to maybe around here like so and for intensity you can also choose according your needs i will do maybe around 65 and now when we hit zero we have this really cool looking animation okay now it's time to add another solid layer here in our background composition right click and then find the new solid I will re uh, rename it here star burst hit ok and then also here an effects and preset hit star burst like so drag and drop here and also we will find fill effect like so move it around here for this fill color we will do white color and for the scatter we will do around 400 or 500 uh, for speed 0 0.10 and now when we hit 0 we have this really cool looking animation also what we can do is to duplicate this control plus d this uh, grid wipe effect uh, move it around here and for uh, star burst track mat uh, choose this alpha inverted mat like so now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation and really cool scene all right also what you can do is to readjust our circles here maybe uh hit circle 03 move it around here this second one like so and now in our finals this is looking really cool and really catchy uh really catchy looking also uh, one last step what you can do is to readjust our text maybe to around here and to do it like so maybe to make a more adjustment hit w here maybe to for rotation the second uh, keyframe like so 
And when we're back here in our background comp, we will have this really cool and creative animation. Alright guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial, hope you learned something new, hope you liked this video. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching this uh, video tutorial, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. Also all my links are in description and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button, also turn on the bell icon so you can always be notified whenever I post a new clip. And until next time stay creative and bye bye!